Welcome back to the airboat build. In this video I'm going to talk about rudders that I made. I hadn't uh, ever made rudders like this before, so I'm going to talk about what went well and what didn't. Now airboat rudders are commercially available, but I wanted to make my own. I thought this would be a fun project, and it was. My uh, plan was to make aerofoil style rudders. These would be a pretty generic size. They're four feet high, two feet wide. The skin is 40 thousandths thickness aluminum sheet, and the frame is made out of aluminum tubing and uh, 3 16 uh, aluminum plate. For the pivot points, I plan on making some bushings out of Delrin. I'll be machining those on the lathe, but I haven't done that yet. So unfortunately, I don't have a sheet metal break big enough to do a full size rudder. So I had to cut the sheets into these two by four feet lengths, uh, and then using the break, I folded it basically to 90 degrees. The 90 degree bend forms the leading edge of the rudder and from there I was able to bend it by hand and it was pretty easy to turn it into an aerofoil type shape. From there I cut out some plywood templates uh, basically recreating that aerofoil shape and used that as a template to cut out pieces out of the aluminum plate. These then formed the ribs of the rudder, similar to the ribs of a wing. The ribs were then welded to a four feet long aluminum tubing, which is essentially the spar of the rudder. With the structure of the rudder complete, I then welded the aluminum skin to the uh, top and bottom ribs. So at this point everything was actually going very well. I was really happy with the shape of it. The uh, rudders obviously are being constructed in two pieces and all four pieces looked great. However, things didn't go so well when it came time to combine the two halves for each rudder. My plan was to weld them together and basically combine them at that middle rib. The problem was a welding problem. The amount of heat that it required to weld it to that middle rib warped the thin aluminum sheeting. And maybe if I was a better welder, or maybe if I took more time and was a bit more patient with it, I could have got a better result. But you can see here there's a bit of a, a wow. Uh, you can see it in the reflection at that middle there. Otherwise, the trailing edge came together really well. I used clecos and clamps to hold it and then used solid aluminum rivets to permanently fasten the trailing edge together. Here you can see the completed rudders. They're four feet tall, two feet wide. They look great except for where the sheet metal joins in the middle. From these pictures it's kind of hard to see but there is a bit of a wow there. Now this is a subtle aesthetic problem. I don't think it would affect the function of the rudders at all but because they don't look perfect, I'm not completely happy with them. So what's next? Well, I don't know. Perfection is the enemy of good. But because I'm not happy with the way they look, I might rebuild them. I might start from scratch, maybe use a foam core and then carbon fiber or fiberglass skin. I might just cut the skins off these aluminum ones and then redo it using a, a single piece of aluminum. So if you have an opinion on what I should do, let me know in the comments. Uh, I can be influenced on this. Like I said, I haven't made up my mind yet. So we'll see what happens next. Thanks for watching.